Welcome to the SimCA tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to dynamically edit a media file without modifying the file itself by creating a script that will instruct Zoom Player how to play the media file without uh, actually modifying it. To begin with we will open a media file. I'll pause it for now and I'll open the SimCut editor interface. Uh, as you can see, this editor has several uh, functions. I'll begin uh, with uh, the most important ones. This is the type of edit you're currently performing. There is a, a cut section, which means that a part of the video will, uh, the selected part of the video will not play. You have a, a jump to position, which means that uh, once a certain position is reached, uh, a new position is seeked to. Next you have the mute audio, which mutes the audio for a specified number of uh, minutes, seconds. Uh, you have the same for subtitles, but this only works uh, for DVD mode. Finally you have the end of playback, which tells the player to go to the next file in the playlist or in the when playing uh, DVD files, it just stops playback. Next, uh, if you're using uh, a DVD, uh, you can specify which title the cut uh, or the edit is uh, in reference to because uh, uh, DVD may have several tracks and each has its own timeline. By specifying the title, you can uh, associate um, the edit with that title. Okay, let's uh, begin. First, let's cut a simple section. Let's cut from second 20. So I'll use get current position for second 20 and then jump a few seconds ahead to second 25 and select cut and I'll get the current position again. And you can see, uh, let's make it more accurate. Exactly from second 20 to second 25 and then I'll add the cut and you can see the cut starts at second 20 and ends at second 25 and now uh, if I'll uncheck the disable scene cut if I go to second let's say 16 and press play you can see that at second 20 it jumps to second 25 and for example I'll add a second 28 a jump position that will seek will jump or seek same thing uh, to second let's say 15 and now I'll add that so you can see you have a jump from here so now what will happen is that at uh, if I play for second 17, it will jump first to second 25, and then it will go back to 15, and right now it will play like this in a loop. Basically jumping again, and again, and so forth. You can do the same for the mute audio or the subtitles, which are usually used by uh, parents who want uh, to remove obscene language from the media played while allowing the, them to watch uh, the rest of the media or content or movie. Um, finally, you have the inverse cut. What this means is basically that uh, anything cut is what actually played. So if I'll inverse the cut, the only thing that will play would be second 20 to 25. Um, that's it for the Sika tutorial. As you can see, the file is set, saved, the modification list is saved as a separate cut file, which is saved in the same directory as uh, the media file we are editing. Uh, if the media file is on a read-only media such as a CD or DVD-ROM, then uh, the cut file is saved to uh, the Zoom player director.
thank you for watching this tutorial and come again.